January, we took a look at the beta graphic updates in Diesel Railcar Simulator. At that point, two of the three maps, Mountain Pass and North Landon, that come with the game had been updated. A couple of days ago, the third map, Westfords, also received an update. So today, we're going to take a look. We're going to be looking at two timetables, Rule Up 8, and starting off with Urban Down 174. As with the previous video, we'll look at uh, the old and the new footage mixed together. So we start off by taking a quick look at the FPS top left. More than quite 60. So this is the old graphics. This is the new graphics. There's a, uh, a loco. I don't understand that loco. You're, you'll see in a minute why he's put it there. Now it looks like an express and we are more of a commuter train. And don't worry about the... Uh, the fences there, I've, I've told him about it, the dev about that. Look, it's not here on the, the train isn't here on the old uh, graphic settings. So he's done more than just graphics really, he's changed the whole uh, session really. So the fences were automatically put there, he, he will fix those. But that train, which we'll see again in a second, we pass it, it stops at some signals and we pass it. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure I, I thought we were going to make to wait and then it would go first. But no. Bye bye, train. And just like last thing, the, the biggest thing you can see is the colour. It's, it's much colder now, which is, this is it, meant to be England, so. I, I quite like the warm colours, but it, it's more honest, the uh, these colours here. And the other thing is the bridges, which you're going to come up to, you'll notice they're different. They're quite different, aren't they? Now this train isn't there on the uh, the new session. And that's quite similar, the uh, the layout. Now this layout was diff done differently to the previous one. Whereas on the other one, you basically took it to bits and start again on the other two uh, routes. On this one, he, he pretty much edited as he went, I think. I think that's what he was saying. But a similar thing to last time, if you have a look, the houses, a lot of the houses are gone. But it does look a lot neater now. So we've got the current graphics on the left and we all always have the beta graphics on the right. Now, they are beta at the time of uh, recording this. They will, it will come out f the full edition at, at some point. Um, he's still optimising at the moment. You see the track is much better now. They're always two different, two different types of track here, colours, but they don't just lie on top of the ground, they're sort of integrated. So we reach our first sort of large town. It's quite similar. You've lost the canopy at this point. We take a very quick look round. I say similar, there's a lot of big differences, but the, the, the feeling is the is same, it's the, the feeling of size is still the same. 
So one thing with the other two routes is the, the towns, every one of the towns were, were shrank. So we're on the main line now. It looks good. And I'm glad we get rid of those, that banking. You put some vegetation on, it looks a lot better. Right, so we're coming off the main line now. place still feels pretty big. So old graphics. And new graphics. They've got that new sort of engine shit. I don't, I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. Now we're on the branch line. We're certainly coming to the end I think we've got, what, three more stations, but uh, the, we're over half point of this uh, session. Some places it is difficult to match up the, uh, the left and the right. Because it's actually changed so much. So we're sort of an approximation. I use things like the signals to actually uh, work out exactly where we are. And the key in the bottom right as well. Now this platform's a lot smaller now. This is how it was. You have to be a lot more careful now on where you stop. I thought this would be interesting, this part of the route, because you're looking over everything, over the town. So again, it is very similar. This is with the updated uh, buildings. With the track's different as well. Once again, I use that signal there to actually work out exactly where we were to actually match the two videos. I haven't really lost houses here, but it doesn't look so jagged this time. The new graphics. So it was sparse there before. So I use the buzzer there to actually work out, to actually put the two bits of film together. So the height of that road on the right was a lot less sharp. It was um, a pretty bit more natural. 
Now this is a big, big difference. Now there does need to be a big, big update. You'll notice in a second, it goes black. The train doesn't have lights, outside lights yet. I mean, look at the station on the left. It's it's aiming leftward. I mean, aiming leftwards, yeah, aiming left. And on the right is straight here. So there was a big update done here. Right, well, that's the first one. That's our score left. Old score on the left, new score on the right. The new score beat the old score. Here's our second route. Or session. So this one is a more rural route. Once again, the colours. It's a lot more cold, less hot. Still the houses again have been taken out. There's a bridge on the left which is now gone. Now you can see it hasn't done an awful lot here. This is the old graphics as in years, so it's pretty much the same. I like the big lake to the right there. That follows us for a while now. There it is, and it's glory. I think it'd be in there, it makes a massive difference. 26, you're aiming for 30, really. This, this session here, this part of this route, I did get quite confused of how to match things up. Pretty much there, I think. You can see this station's a lot, lot smaller. Is that the old graphics? And new graphics. It's a lot cleaner now. I'm not sure I, I like the fact they've taken out so many houses. It would be nice to see a village somewhere near there. But it is a lot cleaner. There's that lake again. Had to do the side view. As you can see, the, the lake would be on the left here. So it is very, very different. I think we discussed this before, actually, that originally when he did the uh, other two routes, he had lines in between the telegraph poles. Um, 
he's taken those back out again because originally in the original graphics he didn't have those but he, he wanted to put them in the problem is that he did lose a lot more fps because of it so he's taking them out for now who knows maybe they go back in if he can work out a better way to implement them in the future i don't think it takes anything away not having them I see it. Are some of them actually there? Maybe it has got some of them in. No, no, there's nothing there, is there? It's only when I chatted with the dev, it was um Oh this that was the old graphics though, wasn't it? When I chat with the dev that uh Yes, on the old graphics they weren't they didn't have leads, then on the new graphics on the telegraph poles it did, and then he's removed them. But I don't think he had removed them. He was talking about removing them when I spoke to him. There they are. There's one. Get into gear now. Come on. Look at that, much nicer. I like these sideways views. When possible, I try to do that mostly for screenshots. Now that close up of the, uh, the the loco there. Mostly the suspension. I'll try to get there. Again, I got a little bit confused here. It's very straight here. And I wasn't sure the, the new footage was. Now, I, f I finally found it. So I had to... I was quite a bit out by one point. You see the bridge is gone. The bridge over the top. Go over a bridge on the left now. That's gone. So it's really the signals which are giving me an idea. So a little bit behind on the left then. So on the left is a main line. And this is coming up to our last station. Well, this is going to be the last station. It doesn't look so different. It looks really, really different. This It's the same, but it's not the same. There's a lot of work gone into there. Yeah, hopefully he makes good sales out of this, uh, this game because he's putting an awful lot of work into it. Optimize it just a tad more as well. We'll take a quick look at the score after that, but that's going to be it after that. And I can tell you the uh, we are better score before than we do on the the new run. Not by an awful lot, but still do. So six nine. 6.5 against uh, 6.8.5.6. Oh well, can't be helped. Anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope uh, you liked the video. If you did, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press that ding-dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye-bye.